Hello and welcome to the video review of GoBot's Water Walk. And this GoBot does hold a special place in my heart because he is the first ever true GoBot I ever had. I got him when I was about 10 years old. I got him for 6 bucks on eBay. I did play with him a little bit, not a whole lot. And all these stickers are the original ones. That's why they're kind of peeling. I don't want to mess with them. And this entire chest is die cast, which when I first got him as a kid, this guy was amazing. You know, he was die cast, he was small, he's... At the time, he was the oldest figure in my collection at 1988 is when he came out. Not 88, 86, sorry. And at the time, this was the oldest figure... There you go, let my camera adjust there. The oldest figure that I had ever owned in my life. And for that, he's my favorite GoBot of all, besides Baron Von Joy, Hans Cuff, and Screwhead. And I use that term favorite loosely because I like all the GoBots. I like Transformers, but, you know, I had these guys, this guy first. I did grow up with the play school GoBots, so I always kind of had a liking for GoBots. But anyways, here's Waterwalk, and he's one of the very, very few GoBots that can actually sit down. I know that's not impressive to younger viewers out there, but in GoBots, this was almost unheard of. I only know of him, Psykill, maybe a handful of the other GoBots, but this, at the time, even most G1 figures couldn't even do this. So this is amazing for GoBots articulation, the vintage GoBots. And his legs are a bit loose in places, but not too bad. Articulation-wise, his arms can move out that far can do almost a full 360, the wing, the tail fin does get in the way, legs can kick forward that far, and that's it. Now getting close to, closer look on his face, if you've ever seen the original vintage GoBots, you'd know that they didn't always have robot-like faces. They either just had kind of a bland face with a visor. And as you notice as they got later into the series, they had more Transformer-like faces. You know, he's got the visor, he's got his mouth, his nose and more detailing down his body. So it's just kind of interesting if you look at a 1983 GoBot compared to an 86 or even later GoBot. They didn't have the same look to them that they did originally. And he's a very clean transformation. The only real piece of kibble sticking off the back is his tail fins, or his tail section. Which, I gotta commend these 80s figures, did not have as much backpack as they do today. Then again, they were simpler, they were smaller. And yeah, and for comparison, moving back a little bit, we'll bring in my camera will focus. It does my camera for some reason does not like these GoBots or the smaller Transformers. Here we have Royalty next to Waterwalk. And you can see Waterwalk is a bit taller. Get him out of the way. And yeah, and Waterwalk was in one of the episodes of Robot Chicken where Psykill vaporizes Screwhead. Now to transform Water walk. He is pretty simple. You just want to take his tail fin, move it up, bring these up, take his back wings. I've heard them kind of referred to as a cape, but to me they didn't really look like a cape. Again, if you've got a water walk and you want to call these a cape instead of wings, I'm not saying you can't do that. Take these bits, or flip out his feet. This piece does scare me because these leg bits are really, really tight right here, so they do unclip. Bring it up, tab it in. You want to be careful because these figures are very, very old and they do get brittle. Bring that down. And his tail is loose. Um, it wasn't that loose when I bought it, but that was almost 11 years ago. And then you have Water Walk. And he is a Cessna seaplane. Got the engines there. And you have, I always said these were, thought these were machine guns. Maybe they're not. I don't know. And he does have a sticker inside. You can kind of see the instrument panel. And I'm not sure how well it looks like there's a little person back there. I don't know if that's just debris and, and plastic, but it looks like a person. You know, that could be whatever you want to call it. He does have some nice detailing on the wings, which is funny because I don't think the original G1 Power Glide had this. I don't think Starscream had it, but GoBot said. GoBots had a lot of detailing in their vehicle mode. Some nice stickers there. Even on the tail fin. He's got Waterwalk089. I don't know if that was his machine robo number or the date he came out. I'm not sure. 
Put it all together, he's a really nice figure, got some nice weight to him. The plastic wheels, unlike a lot of them, do roll okay. They don't roll as well as the metal ones do. And this has been a Prussian Night review on GoBots Waterwalk. Renegade Waterwalk, I should say that. Like the video if you liked the review, comment on what I could do better, and subscribe if you'd like, and thank you for watching.